Olalia's Sun, Sagittarius Moons. Welcome to your 2025 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me 646 902 5715. When you see this, is when you are meant to view it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also, check out your 2024 Sun Moon readings in my playlist. See if they rang true for you or someone you know. I have changed the format this year. The first portion of this reading, I will go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination. Pull the main cards for the first half of the year and take a quick look. The second portion is in the Vimeo link below where I will have the second half of your year in addition to clarifiers for all cards and a card of advice. So Leo Sun, Sagittarius Moons, brimming with optimism and energy, you rarely have a bad day. However, your brutal honesty and its delivery can dampen other people's days. You mean well, you can just be a little too direct for the more sensitive kind. You're, you're a confident being who will step into any role that others shy away from. You will jump in as needed, but at times your ego can get in your own way. You have a youthful spirit that longs to explore everything the world has to offer. Your charm and appeal will get you places in life. In love, you need to have passion, excitement, and variety. You prefer a mate who is equally uninhibited and open to try anything. Your amorous ways may have your partner concerned that you may wander, but you are supremely loyal, and once, you pick, once your pickiness chooses a partner, you stick with them. However, your love needs to make sure that you are loved and appreciated at all times and acknowledge your regal ways. At work, you don't do your job out of a sense of duty, but it needs to be meaningful and inspiring to others. If there is a disagreement, you're quite the contender and able to defend your stance. Be careful that your self-centeredness does not dominate your judgment in the workplace. You're a confident worker with self-discipline and focus. So, Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight? For Leo Sun Sagittarius Moon for the year 2025, what do you see? What do they need to know to reach your heart ground and come closer to universe and closer to the divine? Any messages would be greatly appreciated. We thank you. What do you see for January and February? We have the Eight of Wands in the upright. Also, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, refer a friend, and support my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. For March and April, we have the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. And what do we see for May and June for Leo Sun, Sagittarius Moons, the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse? Okay, well, the year starts off pretty good. I'm seeing in January and February with the Eight of Wands in the upright, you are having a personal connection with someone and there's a lot of communications that are going on. It could even be an entity. When I say entity, it could be a company, a prospective employer, you know, an organization, a college, anything like that. But I do see you going back and forth and things are moving very forward. I mean, moving forward very quickly as a result of this. So it's a little bit of a whirlwind, but it doesn't matter because you all tend to be very fast paced beings anyway. So you have no problem kind of keeping up with this and probably enjoy it as a matter of fact. It could be love for sure. But again, I don't want anyone just honing into love. Uh, it could be a personal connection of any kind since this is a general reading. Now, when it comes to March and April with the Wheel of Fortune in the Upright, you're really feeling very fortuitous because of this connection. It's almost as though this, this person just got dropped in your path and you can't believe how lucky you are. So you are going to experience um, your, your situation improving because of a turning point or a change of events that's going to go on. So things are really going to turn around during this period of time. And I do feel that this person that you connected with in January and February is going to be integral to that. Now, the Eight of Pentacles reverse has a little concern. I mean, it's not the biggest deal, but during the period of May and June with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, I see that things are not progressing as you would like them to. So this is where you know the brakes could really get pumped or something in that regard. But it, it seems like it had a very strong pace or a very strong momentum for these four months. And then things are slowing down rapidly during this period. And I'm concerned about that because when that happens to your combination, you start to lose ambition. You're not into it as much as you were previously. Um, you want something to turn out a certain way or have certain expectations. And when that isn't met, you're gonna get a little antsy. So it might be a little difficult 
when things kind of slow down during that period and you might feel like it's two steps forward or one step back, which again might be a really hard thing to um, for you to deal with given the composition of your personality. So that's what I have for you at this present time for the first half of the year. If it does resonate, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on link tree below to contact me or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below. I'll pull the second half of this reading with clarifiers for all cards in addition to a card of advice for 2025. Also check out your 2024 sun moon readings in my playlist. See if they rang true for you. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, refer a friend. Always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, Leo Sun, Sagittarius Moons, I will see you in your Vimeo reading next. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.